next fight coming up is going to be some I undead IS ninjas, undead mages, and undead regular gray ninjas. So I've got the wind blades equipped, I've got my scythe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get the fight to spawn, and then watch for any IS ninja, the closest one, watch for them to pull back their arm right when they throw an incendiary a shuriken, that's when you release your, your, your scythe UT. Now i got the wind blades to take more out, let's go over the tonfa, I missed my flying swallow and I got nailed because of it, let's try this again, good, counter attack, miss it, oh, I'm missing my onlining, miss my onlining again, let's try to get, there we go, okay, now let's take the rest of these guys out with taunt for UTs and ETs and tossing and sender shurikens really makes a huge difference when you're tossing at air because you'll delim more guys. Now watch out, you can hear him chanting. And I just stunned him right there with incendiary shuriken. Unfortunately I didn't do it quite soon enough. And he got off one of his projectile attacks. Okay, now I'm back down to minus two nimple. Not a big deal. There's two chests coming up that are ghost fist chests and there's also a dead body with a mushroom on it. So I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna get my life maxed out and then we're going to take advantage of these chests right here okay the chest to the left is a grain dynamic so make sure you're maxed out in grains and make sure you have a full health bar because you get 7000 essence here's ghost fish chest number one i got one red nimple and i may get another one from this chest if you want to make certain you get red nimple or red essence from each of the chests, do one chest save and do another chest and, and save. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to keep on repeating it over and over again, so what I did is I put in a, a mushroom. Now let's start with what we call the, the sack gauntlet. I like to break it up, the first set up into a few different saves. First if I do good in the two resetsus that are in here, then I go back and save right after that. And then I do one more save right before you fall down. Once you fall down there is no more saving available. So here's how I take care of the sacks. I sit right here and I charge a Lunar 360 UT, break open the sack, and then I aim the UT at one of the ninjas. And if there's an IS ninja that pops out, then I make sure I aim it at the IS ninja because they're the most dangerous. Okay, now try to take out as many sacks as you can that are not Resetsu's first because you don't want to accidentally take out a sack with Resetsu and then take another sack while trying to fight the Resetsu and have minions with the Resetsu. So I just take care of them one at a time, learn what sacks have what, and it's going to make it a lot easier. So far I'm doing really, really good. This one's going to be another ninja sack. The one right next to it is going to be a Resetsu sack. Like I said, I'm doing really good. I'm doing this no hurt, so that's looking great. Okay, I'm just going to double check where the other sacks are. That is one with regular ninjas in it, but I think I can avoid that by moving around carefully. So here's my Resetsu. Trick of the Resetsu, start off with a UT, run away, and if you can get around corners, even better. So just run far away. Now I heard him screaming, so I knew I had time to charge. If you hear him charging at you, kind of get around a corner, and these guys have problems going around corners, and that makes a big difference. Now you see there's a sack there that I don't want to open, so I'm aim manually aiming my analog stick towards Resetsu, so I don't hit the sack. Now he's just sitting there staring at me, so I know I have time to charge another ET at least. Now I'm going to run away. He's jumping. Just make sure we get away from him. And he charged you. And all these guys are just running away. Make sure you have the room to run away. Go around corners and charge th Lunar 360 UTs or ETs and that should take them out. There's a dead body with a devil mushroom that I promised you. Now let's go with this guy. And you can see we have another corner here which makes it nice and easy. So let's take him out. Start off with a UT. And again we're going to focus on corners. Go here, go around the corner. I hear him jumping. Can I actually see his shadow? So make sure you get far away. Now, of course, he's yelling right there, so he replenished a little bit of his health. It's not a big deal as long as you keep on doing Luna 360 UTs or ETs. You'll still take him out. Now, he was in OT status, so I decided to take advantage of it. Um, however, you can just jump away and charge a 360 UT and have time to charge the UT. Then make sure you absorb that essence after killing him with a UT because it gives you a lot of essence, somewhere between two and 3,000 in essence for that Resetsu. So that really adds up in the long run. So I did the Resetsus, no hurt, so I decided to go back and save. I'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in Chapter 13, Part B.